Hi, I'm Jake Purcell. I'm a PhD student in history at Columbia University, and I was asked to reply to two questions about graduate student mentoring and career diversity in the humanities. So the first question asks, to what extent should faculty advisors address challenges that humanities graduate students face, particularly with regard to non-professorial career prospects and adapting their work to non-academic publics? And the second is about the extent to which graduate students are responsible for cultivating outside mentors or developing diverse skill sets, experiences, and opportunities that might fall outside of the boundaries of traditional doctoral work. Um, to begin to parse this first question, I think there's an enormous amount of space between the fear on the one hand of the graduate advisor who neglects the graduate student who's expressed an interest in a career outside of the professoriate, and uh, the sort of graduate mentor who serves up a job, an all-tack job, to the graduate student in the same position. And I think that a good baseline between them is, is just simply finding ways to reduce the stakes of these conversations and decisions for graduate students. Um, and I think there are a lot of very easy ways to do that. One is simply expressing openness to having conversations about career development. Um, which, given the sort of perceived or real stakes for the graduate student, I think actually does end up being a faculty member's sort of responsibility to initiate that kind of discussion. Um, and furthermore, I, I think you can indicate support very easily. You know, graduate students aren't always looking for expertise when it comes to professionalization. Merely sort of being pointed in the direction of useful resources is, an, uh, again, an act of support. Um, you know, I don't need my advisor to be an expert in sort of uh, pop history, writing, editing, and publishing in a way that I do need my advisor to be an expert in early medieval law. And um, the final thing I think is like that um, graduate advisors can continue to take their students' work, uh, intellectual and academic work, seriously. So to pivot to um, to what extent the graduate students are responsible for seeking sort of outside support and developing their own skills. Um, I would say that I'm a little bit resistant to this conversation. I think that um, a lot of times these kinds of projects, you know, a digital humanities project or um, uh, internship in program management at a nonprofit or writing a sort of piece for a non-academic audience, um, that kind of work happens on top of, you know, the normal doctoral program. Um, and also graduate students come in with very different networks. Um, and uh, between those things, I think it would be very easy to simply reproduce existing inequalities in the outcomes of doctoral training. If we sort of put the onus entirely on students, um, and I don't think anyone wants that. And furthermore, I think there are a lot of things that graduate students simply can't do. Um, I think that if we want to value the certain kinds of writing and um, having PhDs, humanities PhDs, and sort of diverse institutions, um, then there need to be institutional changes within the academy to recognize that kind of work. Um, and that can be sort of making doctoral degree requirements more flexible or, or sort of changing hiring expectations and what you look for in job candidates or metrics for tenure and promotion. Um, depending on the institution. Um, and graduate students really um, don't have a lot of ways to influence those conversations. Um, that being said, graduate students are in fact still agents. I am still an agent. Um, and I guess some things I found uh, helpful for me in sort of taking control of, of my career, potential career outside of the uh, academy, include um, uh, educating myself about the resources available to me, both within my department and within the university as a whole, um, sort of finding out what was and wasn't useful in career resources for someone in my position, um, and also, of course, the resources provided by professional organizations like the AHA and MLA. Um, and also that, uh, you know, when I was initially starting to think about careers outside of the professoriate, it was difficult to imagine what this sort of negative landscape of the non-professor was in positive terms. Um, and I found that no one could really help me with that. I had to do the work of sort of setting out and finding appealing examples for myself. Um, I guess I'll wrap up by saying that I, I responded very narrowly to what was actually a very big question about graduate student mentorship and the challenges that humanities graduate students face. Um, 
This, of course, includes things like, you know, mental health issues and potentially financial precarity and um, building and maintaining relationships in the city that, that might not be a city that you have any connections with. Um, and so I, I hope that sort of talking about career diversity and, and creating open and honest conversations between faculty members and graduate students can also be a step in, in direction, the direction of treating graduate students as holistic people. Um, so thank you. And on that note, I will end.